What's up guys, it's me Kaylin from CCO Tech and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be doing an, an updated review on my Jam Out There headphones. So you know, I usually do updated reviews when the headphones break. So expect to see broken headphones. Unlike the Zenic headphones video, I didn't have access to them because I had already gotten rid of them, but I have the Jam Out There headphones so I can show you the damage that has been done. If you haven't seen my original review on the headphones, then I recommend you watch that before you see the broken headphones just because, you know, when headphones break, it can either be your fault or the headphones fault or the headphones fault. In this case, I feel like it was kind of a little bit of both. You know, I'm just going to show you the damage. So this is what happened to the headphones. Um, I have tape covering it. But, if I take off the tape... That took way longer than necessary, but <laughs> this is what happened. So, from what I feel, this metal part broke. What if it's not even metal? Because this, like, this is much thinner even in this headphone part. So something snapped here, and now the wires are kind of just loose. So it just made them really unstable. Like, if I try to put them on, it doesn't work. But because the wires are still intact, I was able to still used these headphones for quite some time before I was able to get my new pair. You know, the Docus Life 3 headphones. So if you haven't seen the Docus Life 3 headphones unboxing and first impressions, I recommend you do because the headphones, the Docus headphones are great. And I really enjoy them actually. And they seem a lot more durable than this. But, you know, other than the fact that these headphones broke and end up like this. You know, they were still good headphones. You know, I, I brought light to them in my headphones review. But I did have to say that, you know, these are relatively small headphones. You see these ear cuffs, they're very tiny. Like, they don't really encapsulate your ear into what you're listening to. But there is still noise cancellation. So in a way, they're good, but at the same time, you know, I even stated that they were less durable in my review. So, you know, this is just the result of that thin band and just low durability. So it was bound to happen, but I didn't think it would happen this soon because I'd gotten these headphones around maybe sometime in July or something like that and they were already broken by late August so you're still getting a couple months of using them but I feel like they just weren't durable enough to last for longer periods of time but yeah that's the damage and you know hopefully I don't have to make another updated review video soon because you know it's kind of disappointing when your headphones are broken but you know I hope you guys I don't know enjoyed this video you know seeing why the gym out the headphones are no longer in the story and if you did enjoy this video give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video which you know after I do these videos they don't feel like real tech videos to me. They're kind of just like updates. So I want to make a fresh brand new video coming soon. So if you haven't subscribed or turn on post notifications, you might want to do that so you can stay tuned for what's coming next. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.